Hey guys, it's me, Lola. Um, yes, I will be fil filming this video by myself. And before anybody says anything in any comment, no, I am not pregnant. If you have not seen my last video, please look at the update video because it explains the whole situation. I don't want to have to ramble in this video because I'm most likely not going to be editing this video. So, um, I just want to hop right into it. This, as you can see from the title of this video, which will probably be down there, <laughs> um, this video is what's in my diaper bag slash hospital bag, just because the baby stuff is in this bag right here as well, that is supposed to be me and Matt's bag, but yeah, and something just fell. Whatever. Um, so pretty much the bag that me and Matt both agreed on, which was very difficult because... I didn't want something too girly, but then something not too girly, so, I mean, you know, because I'm going to be the one walking around with it majority of the time, not saying that Matt won't, of course he will, but he also didn't want something that made it look really girly either, so, I mean, anyways, so he'll probably end up buying his own hospital bag, because, you know, men have little hospital bags by themselves, so, pretty much, the bag that we decided to go with was this, oh, oh, oh almost dropped it, so heavy is this Minnie Mouse black and red um, diaper bag. It was a 5-in-1, so it came with a couple different things on the inside. It actually says here, since I still have the tags on it, which I shouldn't be having the tags on this, it includes the diaper tote, a bottle bag, a changer, a white case, and then the pouch. So, it was a decent price bag, I'm not going to lie about that. I think I bought this from Walmart. It wasn't expensive at all, I'm going to be honest with you, unlike a lot of other diaper bags. And, I mean, so far with the space, I'm very satisfied. The only reason why we do have some of her stuff in here is because I did overpack. I'm not going to lie about that one. But it's because when we do be, one, when we do be, what? <laughs> when we are going down there, uh, when uh, his sister does go into labor, well, we're going to be going two states away. So, we're in Jersey, she's in Maryland, so that's two states away. So, really, it makes sense as to why to overpack, because you never know what could happen, you know? So, I mean, like, we don't know how long we're going to be staying down there either, and things happen, you know? So, why not? So, jumping right into it, the first bag here is on the front, and it has, like, a Velcro, what do you call it? The Velcro, uh... You know what I mean. The Velcro tabs that close and open. And we have two things in this front pocket right here. And those two things are a travel pack of boogie wipes. Which she probably won't be using these to be honest. But at the same time, like I said, you never know. Um, but this belongs in her diaper bag anyway, so... I mean, it kind of saves space in the room because a lot of her things are in the room already and they take up a whole lot of space. So, with that said, we have a, uh, this is the, this is the wipey case that came with the bag. It was just like a clear wipey case and then I have these, uh, honest wipes on the inside and they're the travel pack, the 10 pack, which I do have more in the diaper bag but not of the Honest brand, it's uh, the Pampers brand, but I'll be showing you guys that in a minute. So, that's what's in that first um, pocket. In the back pocket here, it's a lot of stuff. In the back pocket here, we have two different things. Um, we have three pack of bibs and they are by the Just One You made by Carter's. The first one says auntie's dinner date. Obviously auntie. Auntie's dinner date. And then we have this really pretty floral pattern one. And then we have another one that says tweet tweet I'm sweet. Which I think I bought these at Target. I thought it was cute because it said auntie's dinner date and then the rest of them were just really cute patterns. So I just kind of decided to pick it out and go with the flow, you know. Um, Then here's the changing pad 
and this also came in the bag. It has like a foam on the inside, but then it has that nice plasticky feel on the outside. So if you do get any little accidents on it, it is great because you can just kind of wipe it off and, you know, go about your business. So that was great. Um, try to fit this all back in here. Then on the handles, we have these two things here. One of them are uh, the the hand and hammer. I think it's no, it's arm and hand, arm and hammer uh, bags, and you can refill these. These are like to throw away dirty diapers in, so it doesn't stink up your diaper bag either, because it actually smells like lavender and it smells amazing. Then we have this hand sanitizer, and it's just very vanilla, and it comes in a little hand sanitizer case that you can hook onto the handle and has a butterfly on it because I am going to be very OCD about people um, just touching and grabbing and everything so this will come in handy definitely because I mean obviously his sister will be too like she I'm pretty sure she won't let anybody touch the baby without wa washing their hands or using hand sanitizer first either because you know babies immune system um, then we have in this pocket right here I just pulled it out um, will be the refill for the arm and, ha uh, arm and hammer uh, bags. And then on the other side, see right here, will be, um, it's a rattle by, I don't even know how to s pronounce that, but it's just a little rattle and it's like a little elephant. It'll be cute for her to kind of play with, um, if she even plays with it, because I don't know if newborns play with toys, but that'll be cool. Um. I bought that at Walmart as well. Then we're going to open the bag. And yes, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff on the inside. So, just to not make this video completely long, I have a little safety, uh, health and safety bag here. Um, it has just pretty much alcohol um, pads in it. It has um, medicine applicators, uh, just has a whole bunch of little stuff in it. It comes with a little note card so I can put all my information just in case I do lose this, which, I mean, I don't think I really will be losing it, but it is nice, and I bought that at Walmart. I have this little formula dispenser that comes with three little, uh, sides that you can kind of, like, twist to kind of, like, you know, it's, it's cute. I bought it. I believe I bought this honestly at the dollar store, which really surprised me because I was going to buy the same exact one online, but then I found this one at the dollar store and I was like, this is literally the same exact thing. I have this one and I have a green one sitting in a drawer somewhere because I bought two, you know, just one to stay at home, one to take with me, so that'd be nice. And sorry if it sounds like I have a little cold, I don't mean to sound like this but it's one I have the window I'm like right in front of the window in my um, room and uh, the window is open because we've had the window open all night because it was hot last night here in Jersey I don't know how anybody else is but let me stop rambling and get back to this sorry I was pulling a sticker off something um, here goes the 64 pack of camper wipes and it's the natural clean these, I heard, are really good, and they work amazingly, so this is really well. I have that. I also have Johnson's Baby Powder. Um, also in here, we have some gas relief drops, just in case she, you know, gets gassy or anything like that. You can just drop some of this in her bottle and yes it is open because I wanted to see what it looks like but obviously nothing else is open in, in it. I just wanted to see what it looks like. Um, they are curious I know. Then I have a pack of newborn honest diapers by the girls discovery kit and it's just um, up to 10 pounds, 7 diapers in here. I probably will put just a couple more just in case because like I said we don't know how long we're going to be staying there. But they're just really cute diapers, and they have a bunch of little patterns on them. Yeah, I opened the top because I really want to see what they look like. But this is cute. Um, we have a Dr. Brown, I think this is a 8-ounce, 9-ounce bottle. Yeah, I think it's a 9-ounce bottle. But we have a Dr. Brown bottle, and, you know, um, this is the bottles we decided to go with. 
We do have other bottles in here. Um, I'll show you in one second. We do have these uh, Minnie Mouse pacifiers. Um, they are zero to six months. We have this in here. We have a uh, diaper rash relief cream. Um, I need to stop saying um too. Uh, then in the little pouch that is in her bag, we have um, here I go with the um again. <laughs> We have some of the Honest Company um, travel size stuff, which worked out perfect in this situation. We have the Organic Healing Balm. Focus, focus. There we go. We have the Honest Face and Body Lotion. And then we have the Honest Shampoo and Body Wash. And it's just like a little travel size, just in case, you know. Then we have two little... uh the soothe pacifiers so that goes in the little pouch that I have here and then we have they I think like three of these bottles in the actual bottle bay so we'll be taking these to the hospital as well um but that's so far for like what's in the actual diaper bag. Now moving on, let's go to our pink, nice big bag that I actually got from my job. In the bag, we have a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I have these two really lightweight swaddle blankets. One is of a little lamb, and the other one is pink. So I have these two swaddle blankets that I'll be bringing with me to the hospital. Um, then we have this one little, like, towel that's a ducky towel. I didn't know whether to pack that or not because I'm not sure if they give you towels at the hospital. I've never been through a situation before, so I have no clue. I might be overpacking, but oh well. I have these um, little micro, um, these little microfiber, um, they're just like little towels that I have in here, but I'm kind of going to use these as broken gloves because they're really, really soft and I have like three of them in here. I might pack more depending. Um, with that all said, I have, on the other side, I have the clothes. I packed two onesies that are newborn size just in case it's really hot at the hospital because I don't know what they're going to be leaving it to. But I packed this like one flamingo one for her to kind of sleep in. And then I have this like absolutely perfect. Um, and it is newborn size as well. And it's by Carter's. And then that was just for her to sleep in just in case um, it is hot. Now, I have her coming home outfit will be either be this, uh, this is like a bigger new, newborn size and has a little diaper sack at the bottom, um, with either one of these bows depending on um, which one I decide to put on her, or I have this one as well, this is a smaller size and I feel like this is so cute. I have this little outfit, um, and then it comes with a little diaper sack to go with it, and then with this little headband, so this is just depends on if she's like smaller, which she might be, depending, because I mean from what I heard from his sister, she told me that she, the baby might be, um, smaller than her sister, Eva, um, her sister is about to be two in September. So, I mean, but when Ava was first born, she, apparently, from what his sister told me, is that this one might be a little smaller. Okay, so then we have this little one here. Uh, this is a newborn um, sleeper, and then we have another newborn sleeper here with the little footsies. And then I have a bunch of little baby socks in here um, just a bunch of them to like match outfits and then I have 
uh, oh, one more right here, <laughs> one more, and then I have these two, uh, baby mittens to go with pretty much anything she really wears, and then I have another pacifier with a, um, you know, you know what I mean, I can't think of the word right now, I don't know what's going on, but, yep, so that's what I all, I packed in this bag, um, I do have a couple of things that I have to add in here, like, I'm probably not going to bring this to the hospital. It's just like to keep her bottles cold. Um, I'm not sure if I should. If you think I should, please comment down below and let me know because I have no clue. But I also have this little ice pack as well that I just bought because the old one's really old. I actually got this from a friend and I'm very thankful. But um, the other one's kind of old just because my friend had her baby like three years ago. I think, yeah, this one's about to be three. So three or four years ago, how, depending on how we want to put it. But I bought this one as well to put in there. So... And then for myself, uh, I actually have this cool moisture body wash by Dove. It's a cucumber and green tea scent for myself. And I haven't even put all my clothes and all my stuff in here and all Matt's stuff in here, but we will be doing it soon. Um, but thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, like, and give me your opinion down below. Tell me if you think I overpacked or... I should pack more stuff, but thank you so much, you guys, and see you later. Bye.